my name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is a planet's habitability around a brown dwarf. So first let's talk about what is a brown dwarf. So a brown dwarf is too small to be considered a star and is too big to be considered a planet. They are more like stars but they don't have the mass enough to actually power themselves like regular stars. So in a sense they're sort of failed stars. They're Stars like there are masses that could not get to the life of a star. So there is a lot of problems with having life around those planets, uh, around those dwarfs, because of several things. One, they don't give off a lot of heat. So you will have extremely cold conditions, and in order to support life of some sort, you will need some sort of temperature changes, you will also need some liquid, vapor, different chemical approaches. Um, so here, uh, everything, all the planets will freeze. And it will be difficult to support life without water. Now, the second one is that the when these stars, these failed stars are changing a lot, and towards the end of their lives, they tend to change their light. And to be specific is they're going to start radiating a lot of ultraviolet radiation, like really, damage, really damaging radiation. So you'll get UV radiation. And what UV radiation does is that it really compromises your chemical structures. It just breaks your bonds and you end up practically destroying all the water and other chemicals as well. So you get UV radiation from this. Also, there is another alternative, which is some, this, this stars are, these fail stars are very small, and you, the planets tend to orbit really close to them. And what happens is sometimes they create this superheating due to the gravitational forces, not the actual light, but gravitational forces are heating the, heating the planets. And what this causes is everything in the surface to evaporate. So you no longer have any means. Your atmosphere is gone. Your surface is pretty much evaporated. So what you end up is with like gravitational heating. So these are three common problems that a planet will face if they were to surround a brown dwarf. And it will definitely compromise the habitat of those planets. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is the habitat of a planet around a brown dwarf.